So something huge happened yesterday. I'll talk about that at the end of this video. I've debated with myself whether or not I should be making a video like this because I think it's in really poor taste to make a video criticizing someone when they're going through a major medical ordeal. And I don't see myself as someone who would make content out of someone's misery. But I also realize that I need to say something on this topic that has to be said right now when there are a lot of eyes on this news item. And as a rationality content creator, I think this is something I should be talking about. Hi, my name is Pranav and you're watching Science is Joke. This video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, NASIO and YouTube. If you wish to support me, you can find the links below. I'm not going to bother with a longer disclaimer because no matter what I say, there will be people who rationalize that I'm just kicking a man while he's down. You can find such comments right now. Just scroll through the comment section and you'll find many who haven't even watched a video and yet feel the need to elaborate on how much of a hater I am. Now, first things first. First, what exactly happened? For anyone who's been living under a rock and hasn't heard what's going on in the world, here's what happened. Sadhguru recently had a medical emergency, bleeding in the brain, for which he underwent emergency surgery and is now recovering well. He posted this update on his channel. The Apollo Hospital uh, neurosurgeons cut through my skull and try to find something. Normally, I'd have nothing to say about this, but I do because there is a hypocrisy here that I want to highlight. Sadhguru is not really a fan of modern medicine. I was in excruciating pain and by then I had also become a chronic asthmatic and I had a very severe bout of asthma. I sat down with my eyes closed for about little more than an hour. When I came out, my asthma left me never to come back again. And above all, my fractured leg was perfectly okay in little about, little more than an hour's time. You know in India they have told you, when you wake up, you must roll to your right side and get up. Have they? Because it is at a lower level of metabolic activity. Suddenly if you roll to your left, you will put pressure upon your cardiac system. When people come with ailments, we don't treat them for that ailment. We just help them to get their energy body vibrant and balanced. We have helped thousands of people to come out of that problem, not by treating them with medicine, just by doing certain simple processes. What's more, there are a few followers of Sadhguru in high places. Some of them are medical professionals or professors in medicine, who use their authority to endorse Sadhguru and make his ideas seem legitimate. Immediately after completing the Kriya, I felt coolness in my respiratory tract. It also improves the inbuilt immunity of our body and also reduces the mental stress. Simakriya, a three-minute breathing yogic practice offered by Sadhguru, especially designed for this particular COVID-19 situation in order to keep ourselves very much prepared and also enhance our oxygenation and enhance our immunity. Simha Kriya is a free online yogic practice to boost immunity and enhance lung capacity. The last person who was shown is the Harvard professor who helps organize events at Harvard for Sadhguru, giving him legitimacy. I remember because he was the one who moderated the talk between Sadhguru and Steven Pinker at Harvard. Whenever there is a study from his foundation, the Isha Foundation, that uses the Harvard tag, I can assure you that this person is involved. Another thing that a lot of people don't recognize is that one or two or three doctor's opinions don't make something valid. What you should be looking at is, does that thing have medical consensus? Sadhguru's team also conducts studies to legitimize his ideas on health. I've done a detailed analysis on one of his studies, which you can check out here. To give you a small spoiler, most of what he does is a very poor study design, 
with no clinical outcomes that can be used as an intervention for serious medical situations but the conclusions of the study will be made for the sole purpose of promoting his inner engineering practices these studies are only meant for people who are potential customers any professional who regularly analyzes studies can instantly recognize several different design flaws in these studies which make the conclusions unreliable now of course if he shows with a properly well designed studies with reliable conclusions and undeniable evidence of whatever yoga practices he is trying to sell then yes there will be medical consensus that's 100% sure in that case people like me won't be able to make videos like these to debate over ideologies and stuff we'd have no choice but to accept when the evidence is so clear but he's never been able to do that the only thing he's been able to do is to make something sound convincing enough to sell it to potential customers if this is in deception then i don't know what is we have helped thousands of people to come out of that problem not by treating them with medicine just by doing certain simple processes and one argument i'll get here is hey he never give these yoga practices as a replacement for modern medicine he's only giving them as a supplementary practice for better health better health how exactly can you avoid health emergencies like the ones our crew just had clearly not i'll tell you what happens the people who do these practices get a false sense of their own state of health and they won't do regular checkups like they should when they have a health issue maybe not like sadgurus but maybe something minor like excess blood pressure or something then instead of getting a proven treatment they'll go to inner engineering and do one of sadgurus programs unaware of the fact that they're ignoring a health risk now i'm not sure how much health benefit there is to yoga and meditation or if it's greatly exaggerated that's something i want to be learning up on my own and researching and when i do you can expect a video on that topic but there's one thing that's genuinely beneficial for health weight training it helps in improving muscle mass natural muscle mass bone density mental health physical strength and overall fitness all of which have been correlated with a longer and healthier life span do you get the same benefits from yoga i'm pretty sure you don't i think the biggest misleading red flag here is what the doctor who treated him said sadguru has just had a very life threatening situation what he goes on to say is not only extremely disingenuous to medical science but is also extremely misleading to the average person who watches this and we had to undergo an emergency surgery on him on 17th itself uh, we could get him off the ventilator uh, post surgery and um, he has actually done extremely well much beyond our expectation and you know we we were joking with him that you know we have done what we could but you are healing yourself you know oh man the way he said it It is a fact that the body can heal itself. Nearly every medicine given to us, be it the antibiotics or even the stitches to close up a wound, they all recruit either the body's own immune system or body chemistry that enables this healing. It's extremely misleading to attribute this to some divine power that some crew has. Also, I'm not really sure how seriously to take the doctor, but the blind followers of Sadhguru will take the doctor's words to mean that Sadhguru has supernatural powers. Even if he may not have said it explicitly, he definitely implied it. I think the doctor's statement was probably pressured by the Isha PR team. We have to recognize that this isn't something that's harmless. This contributes to the growing discourse in this country that promotes irrational ideas. Think of the millions of people that are going to watch this and think, hey, maybe all this spirituality stuff does have some truth to it. Maybe next time I get cancer, I'll go to Sadhguru and he'll teach me how to heal myself. Of course, that joke was probably a bit exaggerated, but I can see many people are probably going to watch this video and reinforce their beliefs about health and end up turning away from modern medicine when they face a critical illness. And the most crucial message in this whole episode, I think is lost, that it was modern medicine that provided the tools for his diagnosis and treatment and hopefully a full recovery. What the doctor said is like giving credit to the immune system for saving a patient 
from life threatening pneumonia ignoring the role of life saving antibiotics lastly i come to the main point of the video while the media is flaunting the story about oh look how sakru is recovering and doctors are endorsing his extraordinary healing abilities like sadhguru's wolverine or something and his pr team is busy using his medical recovery as a marketing opportunity basically making content out of it by the way all this makes me feel better about making this video anyway while all this is happening i think of the average lay person who watches sadhguru videos constantly they may not be privileged enough to get the best medical care when they find themselves in a similar situation sadhguru will always get the best modern medical care in the world while turning his followers away from modern medicine i've seen similar trends among other rich celebrities like ramdev who's openly anti modern medicine lakhon logon ki maut allopathy ki dawa khane se hui hai but was immediately in line for the covid vaccine when it was available to him he would always get the best modern medical care while holding talks to huge audiences bad mouthing modern medicine or think of some celebrity like amitabh bachchan a well known ambassador of homeopathy who again will get the best modern medical care in the world when he gets in bollywood superstar amitabh bachchan who's currently undergoing treatment for covid-19 in mumbai's hospital who suffering as a result of all this the average person who isn't privileged enough to afford that high end medical care he or she will feel reassured on hearing the words of these false authorities and turn towards alternative medicine and often they might end up not getting the right kind of care and this delay in getting that right kind of care can often have disastrous consequences that's my message don't trust these people they'll sell you one thing to make money and at the first sign of trouble they'll go to something else for their own medical issues Lastly I'm not saying that modern medicine is the best thing in the world or something there are criticisms of modern medicine like it's not affordable to a lot of people it's often not accessible in many parts of the world and to many sections of society but despite all of that if you want a diagnosis and a solution to your problem no matter how serious or trivial modern evidence based medicine is your best bet if you invest all your time money and energy into alternative medicine after listening to the false hopes sold by these people you might learn a lesson the hard way We got a shout out from none other than Dhruv Rati. Thank you Dhruv and welcome to all my new subscribers who have come from that video. My name is Pranav and I'm a science communicator that focuses on rationality. Meaning on top of my science videos, I also debunk pseudo science and also talk about the errors people tend to fall into when they conclude something through these patterns of thought. Recently I've been trying to split my content into science content and rationality content on separate channels but now I don't think that plan is really working out. I've realized that people will always recognize me as science as dope and know me for my rationality content. So guess what? I've decided to continue my rationality content on science as dope and that means I will re-upload my recent videos on DD rational over here. That's kind of why it looks like I'm only talking about this particular topic of this video right now. This video was originally uploaded on DD Rational on this date, but it's a few weeks late over here. I also thought the video has a lot of value and a lot more people needed to see it. Enjoy. If you like my content, it would be really awesome if you can support me because that becomes my main source of income. You can give me one time support using one of these options or give me continued support using one of these options for which you will get perks that you see on your screen. One of those perks is a private WhatsApp group that you get to join. where we do stuff like this one of our members is an astronomer and so we have amateur astronomy sessions over zoom call so if you are interested in things like that do join i want to thank my highest tier supporters on patreon and youtube if you support me in my highest tiers you can get your name displayed on the video like this i'll see you in the next one till then remember to stay rational